More than 100 Clovis students showed they are a cut above the rest today. That's right. They shaved their heads to benefit kids with cancer. Camp Page News reporter Ashley Ritchie was there for the mass haircut and has the extreme some kids and adults went to for very personal reasons. <laughs> North Peer Counseling teacher Colleen Souza isn't messing around. Why well, go the whole way? Because I have a choice and I can. And so I'm going to do it so that it'll make a difference for those who don't. Neither is Granite Ridge eighth grader Taylor Larson. You can donate, but then, like, if you shave your head, people ask, and then you get so many more donations that way. For freshman Hunter Winslow and senior Michael Silvis, it's personal. My aunt was diagnosed once. Yeah, my cousin died of cancer last week, last year, and she was four, so. <laughs> On Wednesday, more than 100 Clovis North and Granite Ridge Middle School students let go of their locks to support the St. Baldrick's Foundation. It started with a couple of guys wanting to do something for a family member who had a child, family member who had died of cancer, and it turned into what's become a worldwide organization. <laughs> This is Clovis North's third year holding the event. They sell shamrocks on campus, and each student that shaves their head gets sponsored. Last year, they raised $17,000. This year, they're hoping for $20,000. Every year, lots and lots of that money from St. Baldrick's Foundation comes back to our own Valley Children's because of what a fabulous research facility that it is. And so we feel like we're contributing to the kids right here at home. This is something that I could do for kids with cancer. And, I mean, I can't do a lot, but this is something I could do, personally. It's no secret high school can be a tough time, but these girls say they are nowhere near worried about kids teasing them for their new do. Oh, gosh, no. This is too much fun. <laughs> I mean, I did it for a good cause, and I know why I did it. A lesson in selflessness these kids can teach us. Right now, I feel special, like I'm doing something. I feel like I'm changing. Changing one cut at a time. Reporting in Clovis, Ashley Ritchie, KMPH News. And students who cut off more than 10 inches of hair today donated that hair to make wigs for cancer patients. Hairstylists from Supercuts, Sports Clips, and Federico's volunteered their time and services for the event. Such a neat way to give back. It is. I mean, that's a real sacrifice for, for the, the girls. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a bunch of guys, but no. yeah, looks kind of like it hurt the back of the head. You know, it's all in the name of charity. I guess so.